In this video, I'm gonna show three different ways to manipulate arrays. So to get started, we have this data set that I've created. So I hard coded in some Star Wars data, the episode number, the length of the movies and minutes, when the years that they were released, and how many words Luke spoke in each movie and how many words Anakin or Darth Vader spoke in each movie. So episode three, they're combined. So now that we have an idea of what our data looks like, I've already written in some tasks of what we're going to do. First, we're going to start with slicing. Slicing is where we take a small part of our data set and store that into a new array. So the first thing that I wanna do is take all of the movie times. My goal is to find the longest movie time. So I want to create a new variable and I wanna slice out of my Star Wars data. So I wanna start with the array that I'm slicing out of. And then I wanna specify which row and column or rows and columns that I want. So first my rows, I want all of the rows because I want the information for all six movies. So then I can just say colon, meaning all rows. And then the column or columns, I only want the second column of data. So I want all of the data in the second column. So if I go ahead and run my code, I see that now I have the movie times from my original data set. So I have here my data, and then here I just have all the movie times in one array. Now from those, I can find the longest movie by using the max function. And I would want to use my movie times array that I created. And then it tells me the longest movie is 182 minutes long. All right, so this is just one example of slicing. Slicing can be very useful when you have a large data set and you just want a small piece of that data set to do further analysis as we have done here. Next example we're gonna talk about is augmenting. So sometimes you might have additional data that you actually wanna go back and add to your original data set. So in this case, I said I had the number of words spoken by Luke and then Darth Vader and Anakin, and now I wanna add Leia on here. So I've already created an array with all the words that Leia spoke. And if you notice, it is also a six rows long and this is only one column and these are, so they match. So I have six rows here, I have six rows here. That means that my array can be added on to my original data set. The way that I'm going to do this is again, create a new array, create my data. And it's going to be my original data. So I want to take this original data and I'm going to add Leia's words. So it's important here to think about, do you want it to be a comma or a semicolon? If I put a comma, then it's going to add a new column. If I put a semicolon, it's going to drop it down to a new row. If I were to try to add Leia's words to the bottom of this array, it would not work because this is only one column and this data set has five columns. So I know that I need to add it as a new column to my original data set. So I'm going to make my data set instead of five columns become six columns with Leia words on the end. So let's go ahead and run this. And now I see my updated data. So originally, Again, I only had those five columns and now I have this new piece of data added on to the end. So my larger data set has been augmented. So I augmented this and this array together to get a larger data set. All right, in the last example, we're gonna be talking about deleting data. So sometimes you have a data set and it has data in there that you don't find useful anymore, or maybe it's not even useful to begin with. And if we wanna just delete data out, we can use what's called diminution. So it has similar concept as slicing. So up here, again, we were taking data, storing it in a new variable. This time I wanna remove the length of the movie, so the movie times. So I want to slice still all rows and then still that second column. But instead of storing that in a variable, now I'm saying this is going to be equal to nothing. So just remove it. So if we run this code, 
we see at first Star Wars data is the full data set I start with. And now the new data set doesn't have those movie times. So an important note about diminution, if I start using diminution and deleting, it's actually going to be completely removing that data. So I no longer have access to that data. If I were to try to grab the movie times out of Star Wars data now, I can't because they no longer exist. I've deleted them out. So be careful when you're using diminution. Again, it can be extremely useful, but it can also get you into a lot of trouble if you lose the data that you're wanting. Good news is your data is still back at the original place. If it was hard coded or you read it in, you still have your original data, but just be careful about what kind of data you're deleting throughout. So for instance, if I were trying to figure out the number of words that Anakin or Darth Vader spoke, I would be deleting, if I deleted that whole second column out, the first time it would be in column five, but later on it'd be in column four. So the position of my data has moved and changed. So I need to be careful about slicing things out after diminution, thinking about how have my columns, how have my rows changed. Now let's say that instead of deleting a column, I want to delete a row this time. Um, let's say I didn't really like episode two. So I want to say, let's just get rid of all of episode two. So I'm getting rid of the whole second row and saying, delete that movie, it never existed. <laughs> Sorry, I will unsuppress that. So then if I run that this time, we can see my original data set. Don't forget, I already removed time, so that is still there. And then we see in my most updated version, I don't have movie two and I don't have times. So now my array has gone from a six by five to a five by four.